Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, I am a reseller, and I made this channel for those of you who are thinking about reselling and those of you who already do just to increase your knowledge so i hope it helps i appreciate you guys watching and today we're going to show what sold on ebay we do have 290 dollars going out some pretty cool stuff um not my everyday stuff there's actually no nasal mist for two days in a row so that might be slowing down a little bit so let's look at what sold All right, guys, so up first, and I did show this in one of my recent um, estate hauls. I got this at an online auction. I paid $12. It is Mesto brand. Um, this is Corvette Z6, and I paid $12, and it sold for $32.46 plus shipping. Um, buyers $45.97 all in, so probably about a $25 profit after fee. And then up next we have a hat. Um, this is a sport fishing and veteran hat. It is new with the sticker and the tag. Um, I paid $2 for this in a lot off of shop Goodwill and it sold for $17.54 plus shipping. And then up next someone bought um, 10 of the Duncan paints. We are almost out so they just sold like crazy yesterday I'm waiting on a couple more to pay this person bought 10 for 26.32 plus shipping they are forty dollars and fifty three cents all in that is all profit we are way in the profit on the ceramics haul and if you didn't see that video we got a ton of paints and all kinds of ceramic supplies for pretty cheap I think under 200 bucks <clears throat> and then up next we have uh, headgear and I wanted to show you guys this does not say RX um, this is just like the um, piece that goes over your head for the CPAP and this one I think we have like three to five dollars in most of the CPAP mask and this one sold for $38.99 free shipping and everybody's still asleep it's 5 p.m. and I'm clanking around so anyway um this is um, Tennessee Titans three-piece twin sheet set I did the, get this from my friend Pepper for free so my cost in is zero it sold for $21 plus shipping virus $33.16 all in up next is what was clanking around this is a vintage FSU trash can and it's kind of raggedy inside. I did show that. Um, I got this in a sports lot, and that's when it's like, um, when you gotta decide, like, do I want to try and get money for everything? And yeah, so I listed that um, about a dollar in. It sold for $9.28 plus shipping. Buyers $18.98 all in. And then something you guys probably thought you would never see again from me. Um, we do have a phone soap going out so I actually had three of the phone soaps come back to me um, that buyer returned it said it was defective and they weren't um, I think everybody's over the hype and the craze of the coronavirus and now they're not as worried about um, like that's a UV sterilizer for your phones so I think that they're not as worried um, so I did give them a partial refund because it was new unused. They sent it back used after almost a month and they weren't happy. They did file a case and as I've told you guys before, eBay um, picked up the difference and they paid them that not out of my pocket and if they did leave negative feedback, eBay would automatically remove so I wouldn't even know. And that one sold for $90 free shipping. My initial cost into those was $30. Um, I did not refund the shipping to that buyer, so I'm still making probably about $40 on that unit because shipping will be in a padded flat rate, so it will be about $9.
and that's it. Um, I am headed to work, but that's almost $300 today. So not too horrible. Um, and I'm okay with a little bit slower days sometimes because it gives us a break and lets us get some other stuff done. And I will probably add some more sales onto this, so don't go running just yet because um, I am working today and tomorrow. I'll probably put tomorrow's sales on this as well. So I'll show you those shortly. All right, we are gonna start off with the Poshmark sales. There are three sales going out on Poshmark today. So we sold these two Starbucks cups. And these I actually picked up at Christmas. I've had way too long um bad retail arbitrage pickup the black ones went for crazy money but the pink and the silver did not these sold for 48 on poshmark so after fees i'm actually losing a little bit but at least i'll get some of my money back and then next on poshmark are these fly london wedges so these are new off my qvc palette i did mark them down a little brand new um there's that mark if you want to watch out for it at the thrift store these are size 41 these sold for $35 plus shipping and um, the last thing on Poshmark is some Soma panties um, these sold for $35 as well size small we are almost sold out of those that is all going out on Poshmark and our first eBay sale is these American Eagle jeans. These were from the bag of clothes I caught and I took an offer of $10 plus shipping on these. Buyer is about $25 all in and these and then you'll see the um, Levi's going out today as well so we are in the profit on the group. All right, guys, so I am going to go over what sold yesterday. I was at work and I did not pull everything. So I just want to tell you guys and I'll pop them up here so that you guys can see um, what exactly sold. And I'm off today. My mom is here and we are driving two hours away to pick up some more auction stuff. I didn't get as much as last time, thank goodness, but I did get quite a bit. So yesterday while i was working we sold one lot of three cvs nasal mist for 15.79 we did sell two cox contour remotes for 15 dollars plus shipping the buyer's 21.77 all in so if you guys see remotes when you're out thrifting or garage sales definitely get them i got these at a garage sale i got a whole box and <laughs> probably had like 15 remotes for a dollar um, I think they do estate sales and these were just like random remotes. So yeah, $21.77 on these. And then a Danco cold stem. This sold for $8.77 plus shipping. These, I paid maybe 20 cents, but honestly I wouldn't get any again. It was a long tail item and they've just been super slow to sell. I am in the profit, but it's taking quite a long time to get there. And then... We have some Avon samples. Always look um, up samples and stuff like that you might find at the thrift store or garage sales. And the five, um, it was five of three different kinds. And it was a total of 15 samples. They sold for $8.77 plus shipping. Buyers $14.38 all in. Those just went in a padded envelope, a little six by nine. If you guys ever wonder about shipping supplies, definitely message me and I do have the links down in the description. And then we sold 10 Duncan ceramic paints, which we are almost out of. We've sold hundreds of them. That was a really good bulk buy. They sold for $22 plus shipping. The buyer is $34.87 all in. And then we sold another lot of three CVS nasal mist for $14.52. And we had a copper bracelet go out. Um, this one went for $18 and I have 50 cents in. And, and the buyer is $24.71 all in. 
That one could go either in a padded envelope or in a little six by six by four box. My husband shipped, I'm not sure what he used yesterday. Then we have another lot of three CVS nasal mist going out for $15.79. This patch I think is one of my favorites that I've gotten. Um, I think one to $2 in, it sold for $21.29 free shipping. So about a $15 profit and that will go in a padded envelope as well. And then two more sets of three of CVS Nagel Mist. So that's all that sold yesterday. Um, I do want to go over with you guys just really quick because it has slowed down. There's actually three days of sales in this video today. And um, for the last week we have sold $2,000. The last month is just under 11000 and we are at 1.9% lower than we were the last 31 days. We did have quite a rush when everybody started um, being quarantined. So that is not too bad, but we are up 677% from last year. So this is about the time I started last year and we're doing almost seven times what we were doing last year. So always make sure you compare yourself to yourself. Don't compare yourself to me or mad at part-time pickers unless you're in the same like area as us. Like I have 1,500 listings. I think Matt only has 900, but he has a better average sales price than I do. So let me get to what sold today for you guys so I can show you. So we sold four of these Lawfren case blue plates um these are dinner plates they are marked it's very hard to tell i think these are from um the early 1900s or even the late 1800s you can see the flow blue pattern there true flow blue stuff does very well so these four plates sold for 64 dollars 99 plus shipping the buyer is 102.55 all in and then up next are the jeans. This is from my video yesterday. So this is the first stuff to sell from the garage sale. These are Levi Strauss. They are type one, size 14. I paid 20 cents for these and they sold for $16.55 plus shipping buyers $27.45 all in. So we are now in profit on the back of clothes from the artsy. Up next, I actually got this at the auction we are going to pick up from today in a lot. I paid about $5 for it. Um, it's a really cool um, hanging wash trap. It has the hole so they can go in and then they can't get back out. It is new with tags. I paid five and it sold for $15 plus shipping. Buyers $24.05 all in. I had these at 30. I was hoping to get between 20 and 30, but I've had them for about five months. So somebody sent me an offer of 10. I did counter them at um, 20 because it was listed at 25 and they came back at 15 and I accepted because I have had it for so long. And then next, this was on a palette that we got a long time ago. This is a grill cover. These you might find on like clearance at um, Walmart or Home Depot and then also um, on pallets if you happen to get those. So this one, we just have a couple dollars in. It sold for $9 plus shipping. It is pretty big and heavy. I think I'll ship it in a poly bag via pirate ship. That is the cheapest way on pirate ship. And the buyer is $20.55 all in. So hopefully shipping in the poly bag will save us some money on shipping so we can make a little bit more than $5 on that. And then up less are these paintbrushes. So these I bought a big lot at uh, Artist Estate online auction. Um, I did drive a couple hours to pick them up. We are way in the profit so we have less than two dollars into these. These sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. I have them listed at 30 or 35 but I, somebody sent me an offer of 20 I accepted because I am way in the profit on that lot. So they sold for a total of $24.60. 
And then, so today we have $199 going out, which is a little bit below our $250 average. I have listed um, some of the stuff from the big estate hall where the car was full. Uh, none of that has sold. And then we are going to go pick up some more stuff today. So I will wrap this video up here and I will show you guys some of the auction stuff from today and we'll go through a little bit more from yesterday on tomorrow. If you have not already, please like this video and hit the thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell notification. I do do premieres on all my videos at 8 p.m. every night except for Tuesdays when I'm live and those I sometimes do in the afternoon and sometimes at like 6 p.m. So every day except Tuesday I do put out videos at 8 p.m. So I would love to see you guys in the premieres hanging out. You can chat with me and ask questions and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Do we have one more? One. One more. One more. Can you say bye? Goodbye. One. One. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.